it's been a while since my last upload on YouTube. <laughs> so as promised, I am going to share my experience on how I brought Loki, my toy poodle, five-year-old toy poodle, here in the U.S. from Manila. Yeah, he's very camera shy. Show your face, baby. Yeah, and Jay, he doesn't like the camera. Look, look, look. Show your face. Show your beautiful face. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god, camera shy. Isn't he the cutest toy? So cute, diba? Kung ano man iiwan mo yung toy pet poodle mo. Toy pet poodle mo in the Philippines. Kung ganto ka cute. I have another um, poodle in the back, uh, female. Loki is male. Her name is Hachiko. Anyway, yun nga, as promised, I am going to share the step-by-step -step process on how to bring a pet from Manila to the U.S. Before kasi, hindi naman talaga mahirap magdala ng pet from Manila to U.S. Health certificate lang from your vet and exportation permit from Bureau of Animal Industry, okay na. Pero, ginawa nilang mandatory nung 2022 ang titer test because Philippines is a high-risk country for rabies. Dati, ang nagre-require lang ng titer test is Australia, Singapore, New Zealand, Europe, ngay yeah, isa sa mga pinakamadaling magdala ng pet talaga is US and Canada before. No, tapos, in-extend din nila hanggang 2025. Anyway, I talk too much. Without further ado, let's get into the steps. First na ginawa ko, syempre na research ako. Actually, ang una kong ginawa talaga is, I asked my vet. Sabi ko, I have plans of traveling to the US. What are the requirements? Kasi pwedeng sila na lang yung mag-asikaso nung documents. Napanggit nga nila na 60,000 pesos daw. Oh my gosh, hindi pa kasama yung airfare doon. Nagulat ako. It's so expensive. 60,000 pesos for everything. Sabi nga kasi nung vet, may bagong requirement daw kasi sa, to US, which is yung titer test. And titer test is around 20 to 35,000 pesos. Kasi dinadala pa yon it's blood extraction na dinadala sa Australia or sa UK. Wala tayo sa Philippines noon. Hindi ko dun sa vet ko nagawa. I went to Animal House in Jupiter. Nag-inquire ako sa kanila. Nagay nung attendant vet sa amin yung list of requirements. Um, yun nga, yung first requirement is, meron akong copy, syempre dito. <laughs> Ang first is the titer test. Yun yung pinaka-crucial. Kailangan, kailangan, kailangan na kailangan yun. Kasi isasubmit yun sa CDC. What is CDC? So, Center for Disease Control and Prevention. October 17, we went to Animal House to get his titer test. So, pagdating doon, vet namin, sinabi ko sa kanya na ang visa ko is K-1 visa. Very limited na lang yung time namin kasi October 17 yun, eh, expire yung visa December 19. And as much as possible, gusto ko kasabay ko si Loki. Kasi nakakaawa siya, nag-travel ako to Singapore. Kuman siya for a month. Pinila, nandun lang siya sa front door every single day. Nag-aabang sa akin. It's so heartbreaking. Tapos hindi daw siya kumakain. So every day, tumatawag ako sa kanya at least marinig niya yung boses ko, ba? Pero nakakao! <laughs> Alam mo yun? Yung ano? <laughs> Pero totoo, nakakaawa na iwan yung pet nyo, ba? Lalo na kung everyday nyo siya kasama. Wait lang, kukuha lang ko ng tea. <laughs> Cute ni Loki. Hindi siya gumagalaw. Mapagkakamalan mo siya. Stuff toy. Tinan mo, kung hindi siya gumagalaw. Oh. I was say, ang sinabi sa akin, 45 to 60 days ang titer test. Kasi pinapadala pa yung blood and extract dun sa pet mo to Australia. Nawalan na ako pag-asa na asasabay ko talaga siya. Pero alam mo yun, everyday I pray. Sabi ko kay Dok, baka pwede natin i-expedite kasi alis na ako. <laughs> Maganda kasi kay Loki, updated yung vaccine niya. Ang naging challenge pa pala nun is, ni Dok, kailangan before siya i-titer test. 30 days anti-rabies and then titer test. Kasi parang Im immunity yata yung tinitingnan kung gano'ng kataas yung gano'ng kalakas yung immune system ng pet ninyo. 
Ang last na vaccine was June 30. Tanong ako ni Doc kung gusto ko pa daw ulitin yung anti-rabies. I took the risk. Sabi ko, wag na. Number one, extra gastos. I'm very confident. Hindi maganda yung result. Microchip siya after that. Anti-rabies. Microchip. Of course, yung titer test. Nakakatuwa. Matay mo siya ng less than a month. Surprise. Kasi alam ko kung sobral talaga, talaga na ito. Meron pala kayong form na kailangan yung ipaprint ka Doc na i-issue ng titer test. I'm going to link it below sa description box. Gusto nyo, pwede din kayo na rin, na rin ang mag-print. Sinvite din ako dun sa check nung kay Loki kasi alam na alam niya yung process. So after that, kailangan mo ng importation form na isasubmit through online sa CDC. Ang kailangan dun is health certificate, etong result na titer test, and then pictures ng pet ninyo, yung ipen, yung side ng ipen, yung picture niya, and then yung side and the complete details. Ah, so, after no, the worm is supposed to pick up the local permit and exportation form. Exportation form. So, mag-aantay kayo ng approval from CDC. In my case, parang less than three days or overnight lang, nakuha ko na agad siya. Kasi nga, pinaparash ko because I need to leave first week of December and it was like second, third week of November already. Eh, yung flight pa ni Loki, ayusin ko, di ba? Yung flight pa namin. Kasi gusto ko din, nasa loob siya ng cabin. After that, nung nakuha ko na yung importation form, in-inform ko kaagad yung animal house na papayos ko yung PAI. Yung PAI, dapat within 3 days um, before your departure. Papapick up mo siya. So, pinaayos ko na lang sa kanila. Actually, mukhang mahirap kasi mahal. <laughs> Wala na siyang passport ko na pinagawa. Yung iba nagpapagawa ng passport. Pero kami hindi na kami nagpagawa. To summarize the steps, first, kailangan yung pet nyo is updated ang kanyang annual vaccine. Yung 5-in-1 shots niya. Yung iba, I heard, parang every 6 months nagpapa anti-rabies 5-in-1 shots. Yung kay Loki is every year lang. After that, magpapa microchip na. And then after microchip is the titer test. Titer test takes about mga 30 to 45 days or minsan inaabot ng 60 days. Once makuha mo na yung result, magsasubmit ka ng form sa CDC. It's an importation form. I-upload mo yung importation form sa CDC. And ang requirements naman nun is your, the pictures of your pet, yung front teeth, picture ng ipin niya on the side, yung address in the US, yung address in the Philippines, yung result ng titer test, microchip details, health certificate. After that is deworming. And then after ng deworming, 3 to 7 days prior to your departure, exportation from Bureau of Animal Industry naman. And then after that, you can book your flight. Book kami sa Korean Air. Yeah, good luck guys! Good luck sa mga mag-a-apply. Dala ng pets from Manila to US. Yeah! Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on my next video. I shine so bright, you might go blind. Blind.